feeling very satisfied that we were able to uh, help these animals. We've been here for four going on five days, spending a lot of time and the people here in the Keys that the Stranding Network first responders are even longer. And um, uh, it's just a lot of effort, a lack of sleep uh, to make sure that uh, we're, these animals get the care they need. And so the dedicated professionals now um, are going to continue here at the Marine Mammal Center and uh, we're out here now walking and taking care of the animals. Uh, I'm exhausted, uh, as is everyone around here, but uh, you know, our spirits are, are lightened and, uh, and uh, we're motivated again uh, to, to do a good job with these guys. Uh, this is a very exciting day. This is, this, is what you, this is what you do the job for, is to make small steps like this and hopefully uh, put it all together and put the animals back out into the ocean. And where do we go from here? What, what are you looking for next? Right, so the next steps uh, include getting back to basics, uh, taking care of nutrition, making sure the animals are hydrated, treating the diseases we think they may have, identifying any new ones. Then we'll try to get them back onto fish. Once they're eating fish and swimming around, uh, they become candidates for release. And then we work with our friends at the federal government, uh, National Marine Fisheries Service, to help make the determination about the best time and place to do the release.